Okay, guys, like I was saying, Crystal sent me something I have always, always wanted. Like, I have been wanting this thing for years and years and years. If you read my blog on Zanga, you know I've been wanting it forever. So, finally, I am the happy owner of the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And it is everything I ever wanted and more. It's absolutely beautiful. I even love the packaging. It's just gorgeous. I haven't had the chance to play with it as much as I would like to because of all the drama going on. But oh, <laughs> now, because my birthday passed, guess what I got myself as a birthday gift? Make it too. <laughs> Yeah, and it came with a little lip gloss. So yeah, I bought myself the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Uh, let me open it up for you. I don't know if it comes out of this tin, but there's the back of the box. It is gorgeous, and I haven't even swatched it yet. It's totally pristine, totally untouched. I haven't, I've had it since September, and I haven't even touched it yet because of all the bullshit going on. But look at how gorgeous they are. Look at that. It's perfection. And I honestly can't say that I like Naked 2 better than Naked 1. I haven't played with them yet, but I'm just so happy to have both. <laughs> so, yeah, I love those. It's so nice to finally have them. I've been wanting them for years. Um, I, like I said, I placed a couple orders from BH. A lot of orders. So I guess I can just show you guys in these videos. They've been having a lot of specials lately. And I got a couple free brushes from them. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting here. but It's a blending brush and an eyeshadow brush. Wait, a smudge brush and an eyeshadow brush because I just dropped one. Yeah. <laughs> just dropped one on the floor. But you can see how soft the bristles are. So nice. I have not used them yet. So like I said, now I'm in a rush to move now. So I'll play with my things once I'm all moved and uh, settled in. So... I'm not worried about it. At least I know my stuff will be where I left it. I did get a free blending brush from them. It's really fluffy. So, and if I would have got my package today like I was supposed to, I would have got a free black liquid liner. But hopefully someone will sign for it for me tomorrow and I'll be able to make another quick video to show you guys that. Um, I do like BH Cosmetics, but sometimes their things do come damaged. Like, I have here the Jenny Rivera palette. And it came damaged. One of the blushes came cracked. But the palette's still very pretty. See where my hand is? Came cracked. But that's okay. It was the only thing that came damaged. I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful the colors are. I have not worn any of these eyeshadows yet. It's like I said, there's just been so much drama going on. And I hate drama and I can't stand immature ass people. So this is just it's just been hell. I'll just be honest with you guys, it's been pure hell. But I'm not complaining because guess what? They can have hell all to themselves. I'm out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the 88 Cool palette. Again, these are from BH Cosmetics. And you can go to bhcosmetics.com. They're having Mondo sales. These came a little bit beat up, but they're okay for the most part. Look at the colors. 
Now, what you see with BH is pretty much what you get. Like, the colors you see are the colors you get. They're very pigmented. They're small eyeshadows. They are about the size of a dime. Um, but you don't need a lot. They do last if you have on eyeshadow primer and all that stuff. Um, I won't say they're like MAC, but they're pretty good. Like, they're better than drugstore eyeshadows. <clears throat> okay, the next palette is the 88 Neutral palette. These were all purchased by me. <laughs> and believe it or not, I actually bought duplicates by mistake. So my sister got a palette and she's about to get another palette. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is the 88 Neutral Palette. These are all neutral eyeshadows. And so, guys, I should never need another eyeshadow ever again. Am I right? <laughs> never do I ever need an eyeshadow ever again. Um, this was the one I accidentally bought duplicates of. This is the... 88 matte eyeshadow. Now these are supposed to be mattes. I gave one to my sister because I accidentally bought two. Because they had like a Mondo clearance sale. Look at that. These are all mattes, so they say. But some of them actually have chunky glitter. So I would say like 80 to 90% of them are matte. There's no shimmer. But some of them do have glitter, which is weird. But they're very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Okay, this one is one of my favorites, and I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this. This one, I cannot recommend this enough. It's gorgeous. This is the 120 Eyeshadow Palette, the 5th edition. 5th edition. Oh my gosh. Wait till you guys see these eyeshadows. Right, and there's 120 eyeshadows. And one came broken. I had, I had to fix it. The black one in the corner there came broken. Look at these colors. They are true to what you see on the camera. And then you lift up this tray. And there's another tray underneath. See, one tray comes out. And underneath is another one. Look at that. They're so gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So yeah, that's 120 eyeshadows. And this is the 120 palette 5th edition. It's by far, hands down, my favorite. Like, I would say that one is a must-have. If you're going to order from BH, get that one. For sure. Um, oh, forget about that one. Is that one a duplicate? Wow, I'm thinking I almost have duplicates again. Okay, this is the... 123rd edition. <laughs> Don't even remember buying this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's bad. I don't even remember buying this one. But okay. It's here, so I bought it and I repaired an eyeshadow here. Look at those colors. That's the first tray. When there's 120, there's always two trays of eyeshadows. So I guess it's 60 and 60. I'm going to take this one out. And then the next tray has the darker shadows. Yeah. This one was cool. It was different. Like I said, I only bought these because they were all, they were all like 50% off, 60% off free shipping and all types of craziness so it was cool because normally I had I had one palette from BH from my lovely friend Janelle 
and that was the 88 regular palette, the shimmer, the 88 shimmer palette. Um, so I have that, and then since these were on mega clearance, I just bought the rest of them. This is the 88 palette cool matte eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't even remember what this looks like. Oh, okay, yeah. This was the one that I broke. <laughs> <laughs> it fell and I dropped it. So I told my sister she can have it. Then just bought another one. So this was what was in the package that should have come today. This one and the 122nd edition with all the bright pretty yellows. So yeah, my sister's going to get this one. Because I didn't want to throw it out, but I didn't want to ship it to someone either. So she's going to get that one next week or whenever she comes. <coughs> but yeah, I love BH Shadows. They're beautiful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I have another one of that one coming because I'm giving that one to my sister. And I have the 122 2nd edition palette coming. I'm wearing the ring that was in my last video. Like I said, all I have here now is fake jewelry. I don't have any real jewelry with me here at this place. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, again, it's bhcosmetics.com. Again, you can see reviews there. There's so many video tutorials on YouTube with the looks. It's, I'm wearing the eyeshadow. I've had it on for hours, and it's still very pretty. Um, I don't own any of the lip palettes. I don't really like big lip palettes like that. They're not practical, if you, if you ask me. Um, so yeah. I like BH. I think you will too. The reviews are up there. Some people have pictures on the website. Um, like I said, sometimes one or two things do come cracked or damaged. But just a few drops of alcohol, swirl it, press it, let it dry overnight, and it's fixed. So it's not a big deal. And the colors are very unique. The color you see is the color you get. And they blend well. They're beautiful. And I mean, how many eyeshadows could you want? They have every color you could possibly want for the most part. And so I'm probably not going to buy eyeshadow again for like five years. <laughs> right. But anyway, guys, that's it. Um, thank you for the well wishes and the prayers. I needed them. Like I said, I'm out of this hell hole. Like, that was my bottom line. Someone's stealing from me. That's it. I can't stay here anymore. Like, you know, I've taken a lot of crap, but I'm not going to take someone stealing from me. Like, no. And then... You know, no one's admitting to it. My stuff has not reappeared. Everybody's in denial. And there's only three people living here, including myself, me, my father, and his chick. So, and like I said, no one broke in here. She's a known thief. I don't care what anybody says. And it seems like no one cares that my stuff is missing. And it has not found its way back to me. And I know damn well my jewelry didn't grow legs and walk away. <laughs> so, I'm just totally disgusted. And I'm just trying to tell myself, you know what, every day people get stuff stolen from them. Maybe I've been a little sheltered. I've never had things stolen from me before. Um, people have had worse happen, so maybe I should just... I've already cried it out. I'm not going to cry about it anymore. Um, it's just one of those tough life lessons, I guess. You know, I'm not the first person in the world to have jewelry stolen, unfortunately. And it's just, what can you do? It happens to people every day. What can you do? But like I said, karma's a bitch, so whatever. God will make it up to me. Um, he'll replace those items with bigger, better items. Who knows, maybe I'll marry someone and I'll have jewelry that's a million times better, you know? Maybe I'll be blessed enough to get a raise or a better job and my jewelry will be fantastic or my sister, you know, someone will give me something better or I'll buy something better for myself eventually. Despite the price of gold and diamonds being through the roof. But it's just, you know, that the jewelry has sentimental reasons because I saved up for it and I bought it myself, you know. And then to just know that your things are somewhere and then one day they're not there anymore, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Then anyway, I'm over it. Fuck these people, you know. I'm not going to be down and out. I'm not going to keep crying about it forever. I'm just going to go on with my life and never look back. I will never see or speak to these people again once I'm out of here, so I don't care. So anyway, thanks guys. I'll be rocking my new jewelry and they won't even have my number. So take care guys. Any questions, leave them below. See you all later in a new location. Bye.